So the past two years have been a little bit crazier than usual, but if there is one upside to this whole pandemic situation, it's the rise of online streaming, giving people a platform to interact with their favorite gaming personalities. And of course, as a result, streamers and gamers have experienced a sudden rise in popularity. And with over 3.5 million subscribers, my man Disguise Toast is one of the best. So in this video, I'm going to be trying my best to give you guys a rundown of why Toast suddenly rose to fame. Wow, can't believe we're doing this. So Jeremy Wang, more famously known as Disguised Toast, started his YouTube career all the way back in 2015, but it wasn't until 2020 when the world started to truly appreciate him. Now most people don't know this, but Toast is actually one of the smartest people in the world of online gaming. Seriously, super big high IQ. Not only does he hold a degree in computer science and mathematics, but he also used to work as an app developer for Mercedes-Benz, the NFL, and the Royal Bank of Canada. So it's pretty safe to say that he isn't lying about that massive IQ of his. Hello everyone, I'm Disguised Toast and I'm the smartest person there is. So what made him want to make the switch to becoming an influencer? Well, I'm so glad you guys asked. Now, Toast had always been a gaming enthusiast, so to give his passion an outlet, he started making YouTube videos about the card game Hearthstone. After a while, he earned himself a pretty decent fan base, consisting mostly of people who also played the game. In his earlier videos, he used to cover his face with a Toast-shaped cardboard mask in order to keep his identity hidden. And since my logo was infinitely more recognizable than me, I decided to make a cardboard cutout of it and use that to take a picture with Crip. I w there's a brilliant video. There's a channel called Disguised Toast. He went to a tournament in a toast mask with a pair of uh, sunglasses. He won the whole fucking thing. <laughs> However, in 2016, I don't know if he was like having an off day, but he accidentally revealed his face by mistake. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys just saw my face. The accidental reveal was so hilarious that it earned Toast tons of new followers, and as he realized that people wanted to see him as much as they wanted to see his gameplay, he started to monetize his personality as well. Until 2017, Toast continued making videos about unusual interactions in Hearthstone. As a result, Toast started to gain more traction in the online gaming community. 2017 was a pretty important year for Toast because that was when he became part of the online collective known as Offline TV, including a bunch of other gamers and live streamers who all live together and create videos. Alright guys, I'm proud to announce our newest Offline TV house member, Disguised Toast! Isn't no one else we could have used? Isn't he a, like a Hearthstone streamer? Wait, it's like a new It's another Asian guy? Are you serious? We have so many Asian people. It's like really ridiculous. <laughs> Pretty much Toast was one of the most popular names in offline TV alongside streamers like Pokimane, Lily Pichu, and Skara. That same year, Toast started his second YouTube channel called This Guy's Toast 2 to share his Twitch stream highlights for people who happen to miss a stream. Soon after that, in April of 2018, he secured the third position at another Hearthstone competition, making up for that time when he overslept and missed the entire tournament. Still don't believe how that could happen. 2019 was also a monumental year for Toast because he gained tons of new followers after he started streaming newer games like Team Fight Tactics and Legends of Runeterra. At this point, Toast had figured out that every time he played a new game, he would experience a huge surge in followers. And in November of 2019, Toast signed an exclusive deal with Facebook to only use their streaming platform for his gaming streams. However, it wasn't until 2020 that Toast actually blew up online. In April, he returned back to Twitch for a bit and started hosting a new series where he would, air quote, date a new girl online every week. Mr. Disguise Toast, welcome to Lover Host, how are you? Now, sure, that series was pretty fun and it helped Toast open himself up to a bunch of new audiences, but the real game-changing move of his career came with the most popular online game in recent times. I'm sure you can guess what I'm about to say. Fortnite. What? No. So, yep, we're talking about Among Us, a game that single-handedly managed to turn Disguised Toast into one of the biggest names on the internet. Oh, we're not supposed to talk at all. Oh, right, 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 right. We're not supposed to talk, but this is the oh. trial run. Among Us, despite being released back in 2018, became one of the biggest games on Twitch and YouTube, with over 400 million hours of watch time on Twitch alone in 2020. 
Toast became known as the godfather of Among Us. Using his super smart intelligence, he was able to trick and deceive his way to the top, all while keeping his viewers entertained. I'm so sorry, Scissors! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! With his Among Us videos, Toast managed to earn over 2 million subscribers and 400 million views, breaking his own records. I had 1.2 million subscribers on YouTube. I now have 3.5 million, so more than doubled. With his YouTube peaking at a mind-blowing 105 million views in just one month. With this sudden rise in fame, he started playing with other popular streamers like PewDiePie, Corpse, Jacksepticeye, and way, way more. I knew what it! did you know, Ninja? You didn't know shit! You don't know shit! So for a few more great months, Toast was constantly hosting Among Us lobbies with his friends and other gaming influencers, and as a result, most if not all of his streams and videos earned millions of views. Toast played Among Us pretty consistently until about May of 2021, which is when he ultimately stopped because of the game's diminishing popularity. I'm not like completely quitting Among Us because I think socializing with friends is great, but um definitely stop playing it as like my main game. So you might ask yourself, what is this guy's Toast up to now? After taking some time away from streaming and uploading videos, Toast has come back with some pretty impressive numbers, proving that he doesn't have to solely rely on Among Us to get views. In November of 2021, Toast officially announced his departure from Facebook streaming and made his way back to Twitch. Guess I should practice streaming on Twitch again. I know it's silly, but it's safe to say this guy's Toast has officially made online gaming his full-time career. But the real reason behind Toast's fame isn't the games he plays or the wins he has under his belt. At the end of the day, people keep returning back to his channel because of his one-of-a-kind personality and, of course, a sense of humor like no other. Hey Google, play Highway to Hell. Highway to Hell by CDC. Sure, play on Spotify. As far as the future goes, Toast definitely plans on using his influence for a greater purpose, but for now, he sure doesn't mind being one of the internet's biggest gaming influencers. My videos and my content would not be interesting if it wasn't for the other players, the other people that I can bounce off of, the other people who are willing to go along with my shenanigans, the people who are willing to start their own shenanigans and have me follow them or have me go along with them, right?